an interesting appointment. It was uh, a different appointment than I think most people were expecting. I think that uh, you know we all knew that Matt Whitaker was a uh, temporary appointment. So now it's a question of you know getting a real appointment through. So everyone thought Pam Bondi had a really good chance, uh, who's the current AG of Florida. And now we've had a, a new guy named who was formerly you know working uh, for George H. W. Bush, um, who's you know, kind of most famous uh, legacy of, of that administration was that he was the person that championed pardons for every one of the Iran Contra, um, call them criminals or, or people that were involved. So when you think about, you know, the reason that he's being appointed, uh, you know, I, I don't think that's a great deal to do with cannabis. I don't think that's a great deal to do with, you know, criminal justice reform or anything else you'd think an AG might be uh, involved in. But it certainly has a great deal to do with you know the the Mueller investigation, what you can expect a, a new AG that you know what Trump expects his person will do in a specific situation. So how does that relate to cannabis? Uh, we don't know enough yet. This is a you know this name was only floated around probably in the last week. Um, it, it came as a surprise to me. I thought there was three or four other people that certainly were going to get the nod before he did. I think that uh, because HW was in, in the news a lot the last week with um, you know his passing, that. People started looking at some people that have been around for a long time that might be an easy confirmation. And I think that this is at least a, confer or a nomination that will be confirmed relatively easily by the Senate because he's already been there before. Uh, he's had bipartisan support. He's you know, largely seen as someone that uh, is a law and order guy. But um, now we've got to think about what it means for the cannabis industry. And I, I don't know enough yet. I would expect based on what HW's policy was towards cannabis and towards drugs in general. I mean, this is a guy that presided during the Len Bias um, uh, issue and was the person that escalated the war on drugs probably in a way that we'd never seen. And, you know, for those of you old enough to remember uh, what Humboldt County was like in 1989, it was probably the worst, you know, pot famine summer we've ever seen uh, because camp was flying and dropping nets like we've, you know, never seen since. So that was led by, by this AG. Um, so we'll, we'll see. But uh, I can't imagine it's, it's good for the industry, but I don't think it's, you know, any worse than Sessions. And give, give me your reflections on Jeff Sessions. Uh, surprisingly, I, I'm going to say I, I didn't mind him as an AG. You know, I, I absolutely detested him as a uh, as a person going into the position. I thought he was going to be terrible for cannabis when his nomination happened. But the day he recused himself from from the Russia uh, investigation was the day that um, he was no longer powerful as an attorney general. You know, he, he no longer had the ear of the president. Uh, it didn't matter what he wanted to do. It, he wasn't going to have the ability to get it through. And, you know, he was probably the most feckless attorney general I've ever seen in, in my lifetime. And uh, it, didn't really, it didn't really affect the cannabis industry at all. It was one of those things that you had so much fear and there was so much hype about, you know, Sessions taking over as the AG. And the worst thing the guy did was, uh, was repeal the Cole Memorandum and then never even, you know, go after anyone, never prosecute anyone, never really change anything in a meaningful way. But it was... Uh, he allowed the industry to continue to proliferate, which is you know no different than what Holder did, no different than what Lynch did, no different than what any other AG has done for the last, you know, call it 12 years. So uh, I thought Sessions, I thought Sessions would be a lot worse, and uh, I'm pleased to see him gone, but uh, but I don't think he really had any real effect on, on cannabis.